Hi, dear students. This video record is on uh, one of the letters of the alphabet of engineering drawing. It is about axis, symmetric axis. Okay. You know this uh, list. Well, uh, in the table, in the list, we have the, uh, the lines uh, to their appearance and the corresponding to their common names uh, used in engineering drawing. One of them is uh, over here in the list. Uh, it is uh, format, you see, uh, well, uh, like this long dash short dash long dash short dash well uh, it is set center line but here on such a naming i have a comment i have a notice i'm going to talk about it uh, in 0 0.5 thickness group well since it is a thin line it is thickness standard thickness value 0 0.25 millimeters but the recommended thickness is 0 0.2 long dash short dash long dash short dash it is just the format of uh, this type of line it is used uh, normally uh, for showing that projection is symmetric okay and also for marking the center point but there are some uh, tricky details to know uh, related with uh, axis, related with this type of line. See, scroll the slides of my presentation and then this part, center line, about center line. Take a pointer, a laser pointer. Although we say center line, but here it is uh, uh, a detail on uh, such a naming. Uh, if along the axis of symmetry, you know, axis of symmetry is a by definition entity, symmetry axis. It is not a real feature. We use uh, this definition to say that uh, the object is symmetric. So on the view there is a symmetry. Uh, along the symmetry axis, for instance, look at here. There is a circle, say that as the image of a hole or image of a cylindrical extension on the corresponding uh, technical drawing on the view, uh, we have a circle. Yes, it is uh, the common agreement if on a view there is a circle, on a projection there is a circle or semicircle. You know, I already briefly informed you that it is under agreement. Uh, horizontal and vertical symmetrics are shown, are to be shown. Well, they intersect each other where at a special point it is the center of the circle. Now, if along a symmetry axis, axis of symmetry, yes, this vertical line to say that figure is symmetric, it is axis of symmetry. There is a center point along the axis of symmetry. If there is a center point, then yes, in speaking, such a case say that center line. If not, then simply say axis, axis of symmetry. An axis of symmetry may not be a center line. But if, as, if it is a center line, then sure that uh, along the axis there is a center point. Okay. And also it is to be underlined, you see, uh, the symmetry axis have been further extended beyond the circle, beyond the boundary, in the order few millimeters. 
well the length of such a further extension may be uh, 10 times 20 times smaller than the total length of the line well the order of magnitude of such an extension may be a tenth of diameter of the circle why such a further extension is uh, a requirement in the format I'm going to answer this question uh, well first talk about presence of lines priority of lines drawing priority of lines and then uh, giving an example explain that uh, there is a logic uh, on making such further extensions yes uh, if over a projection on a projection over the paper there is a circle or semicircle or ellipse or semi ellipse yes it is under common agreement uh, we show horizontal and vertical symmetry axis okay using this special line type it is a thin line and along the line of action it uses long and short dashes with uh, space values of course spaces okay uh, here in the next figure there is a cancellation uh, well uh, symmetry axis have been shown but it is wrong uh, there is no such a convention if the uh, on the projection if it is not a semicircle or full circle then we do not show the symmetry axis okay Um, if there is a circle or semicircle or ellipse or semi ellipse normally we show horizontal vertical symmetry axis yes but if it is the case well change the pointer and take a highlighter you see here there are some circles but uh, those have been distributed uh, about a common center it is a pattern well in the pattern we have uh, some circles those have been distributed about a common center if it is the case and the circle is just uh, the member of such a pattern such a family then yes uh, in the format there is such a difference not horizontal vertical symmetry axis we show circumferential symmetry axis see this circle it is in uh, center line quality it is uh, a center line okay it uses long short dashes but it is a circle okay circumferential symmetry axis circumferential axis and radial axis see this radial lines radial oriented lines well radial oriented means if you follow such a line then it is line of action we reach to the common center radially oriented symmetry axis and circumferential axis are used are shown in such a case okay not horizontal vertical it is under common agreement the reason the logic of this format requirement or this rule this agreement comes from practice it is in practice uh, much more uh, easy to mark the center points of the drills okay before the cutting stage over the surface of uh, the object drawing uh, scribing a circumferential axis okay and radial symmetry axis can mark the center points and then position the drill cutter cutting tool easily to the starting point since in practice it is the uh, the method well on technical drawings uh, we show the circumferential axis and radial axis to locate the center points of circles or semicircles in uh, such a distribution okay well in this example uh, yes see the symmetry axis well uh, all the circles well 
there are two concentric circles here on this projection this and the outer one uh, they are concentric so the symmetry axis well from this limit to that limit corresponds to the horizontal symmetry axis of the outer circle well from here to there the part of the same line corresponds to the axis of the inner circle okay uh, along the same line line of action we have uh, the symmetry axis of this smaller circles uh, well this part of the axis extending from here to there corresponds to the symmetry axis of this hole from this point to that point this part of the axis corresponds to the axis of the other but entirely from here to there this is the symmetry axis for the object for this projection body axis and at this point there is a rule it says that if the projection is symmetric see this example it is a symmetric figure and if uh, on the view we have uh, curved features okay yes in this example this boundary is a curved feature curved line this is it that's it is symmetric if this condition is okay uh, projection is symmetric and uh, well there are some curvy symmetric lines uh, well then uh, it is under agreement we show the symmetry axis uh, of the for the object entirely this symmetry axis is the axis of symmetry for the object it is not a center line it is axis of symmetry because along this line there is no center point it is just to say that projection is symmetric object is symmetric in this figure yes we have a rectangle although it is a symmetric projection well since there is no curvy entities on this view well uh, according to the agreement we do not show uh, any symmetry axis okay symmetry axis is not defined for rectangular prismatic or trapezoidal prismatic bodies and their uh, corresponding projections uh, we do not show any symmetry axis although projection is symmetric but if the projection is the view of the lateral side view of a revolt feature then yes not a matter there is a cur there are curvy entities or the entities are straight boundaries are straight we always show the longitudinal axis okay it is under agreement and it is a valuable hint on view reading if there is a rectangle on the projection and between the parallel lines okay we have long dash short dash then this means it is the longitudinal axis for of that part and that part is a cylinder if well here change the pointer and take a pen on the projection yeah assume that i'm drawing straight lines well the limiting lines are not parallel but inclined with respect to each other uh, if there is no uh, symmetry axis on the view this means object is a trapezoidal prism that's it is image but if on such a view yes you see this and that are inclined lines we have longitudinal axis short dash long dash short dash long dash then this means this is it is the view of a conical part conical object here it is the view of a truncated cone well you see it is a valuable hint if on the view say that it is a rectangle assume that this is a rectangle 
or like this it is a rectangle if there is a symmetry axis long dash short dash long dash short dash then long dash short dash then this means it is the view of a cylinder uh, if the limiting lines this and that are not parallel but inclined like this then longitudinal axis highlights that it is the image of a conical feature okay if it is longitudinal axis is on a rectangle then it implies that there is a cylindrical segment over there that's it is lateral side view but if there is no symmetry axis say that on the projection we have a rectangle and there is no axis uh, this means it is the image of a rectangular prism not a cylinder uh, it's a rectangular prism if it is in such a shape trapezoid symmetric trapezoid uh, then this means it's a trapezoidal prism but if there is an axis uh, it, it implies that it highlights that the axis highlights that a uh, object is a conical object yes these are details but valuable details especially uh, to consider at the view reading stage look at the views and then uh, imagine the object three dimension in your mind that is called view reading okay now here um, explain the reason why what is the logic of having such an or using such a further extension why we extend the symmetry axis beyond the boundaries the logic or reason comes from priorities of lines partially well uh, drawing or creating the projections some cases uh, on the view the projection of a visible feature may coincide with the projection of a hidden feature or the image of a visible entity you know we use thick continuous lines in drawing or creating the visible projections of visible features may coincide with uh, the necessary symmetry axis the axis uh, symmetry axis which is uh, necessary to be shown or a hidden line the projection of a hidden feature may coincide with axis of symmetry in such a case that is the question which line is to be drafted on the view shall we show the image of visible entity image of hidden entity or the show the axis of symmetry that is the question answer comes from a common agreement agreement is on the priorities drawing priorities of lines visible outlines uh, has the first priority uh, hidden lines second priority and third priority presidency is for axis of symmetries what does it mean? this means whenever on a projection the image of visible entity and image of hidden entity coincides then we show the image of visible entity whenever a visible entity the image of a visible entity coincides with axis of symmetry we do not show axis of symmetry we show the image of visible entity example see an example well we have uh, such a cylindrical object okay it has uh, two rectangular prismatic slots symmetric slots at upper side at uh, low bottom side top and bottom sides we have a rectangular uh, truly extending uh, slots um, well they are extending in the uh, axial direction okay so well relative to an observer observer observes the body in this direction for outputting the top side view yes see that this is the corresponding projection uh, it corresponds to the top side view of this object uh, the projection of the visible 
channel coincides with the projection of hidden channel. The upper channel is visible, lower channel is hidden relative to an observer. He or she is at that side of the body. Then according to the priority list, well, we show the projection of the visible channel, not the projection of the hidden channel. Yes. Here, uh, there is no problem in this example for showing the axis of symmetry. To be able to highlight that, uh, the projection on the view, this main rectangle is the image of a revolved body. In this example, it is a cylinder. Yes, you know, longitudinal axis must be shown, long dash, short dash. Well, reader looking at this view, such a view, and seeing the longitudinal axis, without any doubt can say that ah, this means object is a revolved object and that's it is longitudinal axis okay now change the design of the object here the lower channel uh, has uh, two ceiling surfaces inclined ceiling surfaces and they intersect each other Okay, at the cross section, uh, symmetric cross section of the body. Okay, that intersection is a feature and relative to an observer, he or she observes the body in this direction, that intersection is hidden. Okay, it is not at the visible side. It is, lower channel is completely hidden. And it is uh, intersection point formed by the ceiling surfaces is also hidden relative to this observer. Okay. Well, since the intersection is at the symmetric cross section on the view, symmetry axis of the cylinder, which is needed to show for highlighting that uh, the rectangle on the view is the image of a revolved feature. And the image of this hidden intersection coincides. Well, according to the priority list, the, in such a case, whenever a hidden line coincides with axis of symmetry, since the hidden line uh, takes the first priority relative to center lines, yes, accordingly, we need to show the image of uh, this hidden feature not the axis of symmetry yes dash line is to be shown on the view but you know longitudinal axis is uh, very valuable to highlight that object is a revolved object and there is a longitudinal axis over there uh, yes how we can make such a highlighting uh, since the hidden intersection line coincides with the axis of symmetry uh, and according to this priority agreement uh, we eliminated uh, the symmetry axis from this part of the projection but thanks to the further extensions of symmetry axis yes here and there still can highlight or notice the reader that uh, this view is the projection of a revolved feature. That's it is lateral side view of a revolved feature. Couldn't show the intermediate portion of the axis of symmetry, but after the boundary of the body, there is no dash line. So the rest is uh, on the view. The rest of the symmetry axis, such further extensions on the view are enough to notice the reader that uh, there is an axis over here that is the region that is the reason why in the format we have further extensions beyond the boundary have further extensions in case well uh, still to make the necessary highlighting uh, that object is a revolved object and there is a symmetry on the view okay Well, there is a notice here saying that, I say that, note that 
it is not a center line it is not a center line yes although we have long dash short dash here but from the projection obvious that this size of this part is not equal to size of the other part so it cannot be axis of symmetry although uh, on the view there is no symmetry but there is a long dash short dash then this means it is to say a different thing here in this example this long dash short dash not to say that it is symmetric there is a symmetry on the view but it is to say that this part of the object uh, well there is um, a gear okay in course mac 114 students are deeply educated on gears okay to uh, notice the reader that well at a certain part of an object uh, there is a gear we use long dash short dash here for instance this circle in form of long dash short dash is not the circumferential axis here this line is circumferential axis but th here in this example this line it uses long short dash like a symmetry axis is to say that the object is a gear well schematic representation agreement uh, for gears it is studied in uh, such things are studied subjected in mac 114 okay as a person you in school you only uh, took mac 113 not 114 uh, when you graduated in professional life if you see a long dash short dash on a view although the view is not symmetric then this means it is not a symmetric axis to be able to uh, understand the meaning of such an indication uh, find a professional mechanical engineer and then ask your question I may only say this or in school select MEC 114 as a technical elective course or elective course and see the complementary things on engineering drawing and solid modeling and some other things okay finally uh, focus your attention to the length of dashes not only for axis of symmetries but also for chain lines but also dash lines it's a reasonable question what should be the length of dashes well for dash lines are already answered the question well the logic of the rule comes from here uh, for instance the size of this projection is in the order of five millimeters okay referring to this slide in my presentation and seeing the length value as five if you make a mistake and take the length of dashes five then over the view assume that there is a dash line you have only one dash if you have only one dash how you expect that the reader would understand that it is a dash line this is wrong well relative to the size of the dashed line length of the dashed line uh, select or use a suitable length value relatively if the total length of a dashed line on the projection is 5 millimeters then take the length of dashes as equal to maximum 1 millimeter the purpose is to have enough number of dashes along the line relative to the total length be able to select a suitable length value for the dashes well this slide it is just an example it says that if the length of dash is 5 then the size of the space between the dashes is to be a fifth okay 5 divided by 5 it makes one millimeter that is it it is not to say in all the cases it is five no relative to the total length of the line uh, select a suitable uh, length value for the dashes uh, for center lines and chain lines you know the difference between uh, the appearance of a chain line and axis of symmetry is only the thickness uh, difference 
Well, chain line is a thick line, center line or axis of symmetry is a thin line. For both of them, well, uh, it is recommended. If the length of long dash is 10, then the length of short dash and the size of the spaces huh, are recommended as equal to 10th of total length. If it is 10, well, the 10 divided by 10 gives us the value for the short dashes and the space values 1 millimeter. This slide, I mean, the length order for the short dashes is a tenth of long dash. Not to say that length of dashes in all the cases 10 and short dashes 1. Uh, at this point, uh, can open a parenthesis and say that Inventor, for instance, is a new generation software. It has at the background a sub-program. Whenever we make a click for adding, for showing the axis of symmetry, uh, okay, inventor at the background uh, just run the sub program and can generate a suitable length value for the dashes. In AutoCAD, well, uh, some cases unfortunately the automatically generated length value uh, may be wrong, may not be suitable. Uh, inventor, creating the images of uh, the hidden features, well, can generate a correct uh, dash value for the dash lines, but uh, AutoCAD may not generate. In AutoCAD, we may need to change the uh, length of the dashes. Whenever we see the length of dash is not suitable, okay, when we created the view or when we show the axis of symmetries, then while writing the comment for changing the length of uh, the uh, all the dash lines on the view, uh, the comment to write in AutoCAD you see is this one lengthen LT scale. Sorry, LT scale. You remember, I think, already talked about such a thing. LT scale. It is a comment. LT scale, write this comment and then uh, followingly write a different length uh, order scale factor for the length of dashes. Make some tries till you find the uh, proper length value for the dashes. Uh, if the, uh, the dash line or axis of symmetry uh, have been drafted using two dimensional tools of AutoCAD then well to be able to change the length of dashes not of not for all of the uh, dash lines and axis of symmetries but individually for the selected one you remember I think select the line right click the mouse and then select properties option and then in pi pro property table uh, select the uh, scale box uh, with a click then into the box write the uh, new coefficient new scale factor for changing the axis uh, the length of the uh, axis of symmetries or length of the dashes of the dash lines okay to be able to increase the length of dashes after starting the process uh, LT scale changing scale changing process writing this comment write the number greater than the existing one to increase the length of dashes write a number less than the existing one to decrease the length of dashes okay well uh, following part of my uh, video record my lecture is about cat application uh, in inventory in AutoCAD, uh, how the symmetry axes are shown. I already talked about uh, the tools of or the uh, the technique, okay, to use in AutoCAD in Inventor. But here, one more time, uh, giving an example, I want to review, make a review. I want to uh, uh, say talk about the uh, the things at the uh, 
view creation stage in cat environment okay Uh, it's going to be just uh, the at the continuation of this record uh, uh, the following uh, say uh, video record on the cat application before uh, finishing this um, uh, uh, this lecture it is about access of symmetries then well uh, focus the attention of uh, mainly the civil engineering students uh, well uh, to uh, some complementary things similarly in architectural drawings and correspond the civil engineering drawings well long dash short dash normally corresponds to axis of symmetry okay if on the view of a building there is a symmetry then yes show the symmetry axis but in architectural drawings, well, see this example. Uh, here we have a plan view of a building. Plan view of one of the floors of a building. Okay, on the plan view, please pay attention. Uh, we have some division lines. Long dash, short dash. Well, this line, for instance, extending from here to there long dash short dash long dash short dash okay at the end of uh, the lines we have circles and within the circles letters for instance a a b c d e f etc well the division lines these are just the lines divide the building into sub portions well in architectural convention this division lines well uh, just located uh, at the place where we have columns we have doors we have walls uh, or windows and especially if a building has a symmetry well, locate such a division line at the symmetric cross section. Well, these are also called axes. But here in on an architectural drawing, civil engineering drawing, axes are not to say symmetry. Well, one of them, for instance, this one, is at the symmetric cross section of the building. Yes, it is to say that a building is symmetric. But the others, this one, uh, you see it is just a line okay it has been located here and there is no symmetry actually about this line but this line just uh, the lines on a map to be able to uh, define the location of a certain entity on the drawing much more easily well you see we have such division lines on the view in the vertical direction and Similarly, on the horizontal direction, uh, long dash, short dash, an axis here, an axis there, an axis here, you see we have division lines. And then, say that you're talking about uh, a certain column. This rectangle on the plan view is the image of one of the columns. Well, say that uh, you're explaining something about this column or need to say something about this column, but the listener is uh, not at the same place. Okay? It is a telephone calling, for instance. The other person is at a distance. So how you can uh, easily notice the other person, listener, that you're talking about not the others but this entity the answer is that use this the uh, division axis to say for instance a b c d e f this is f f axis okay and you see this entity is just at the intersection located by uh, intersection of this axis and that axis say that one two three etc well say that 
the column at the intersection of the third axis and FF axis. Yes, we use long short dashes to divide the plan view or the elevation view of the building. Okay, and using this uh, axis uh, can easily um, um, uh, mention uh, that uh, there is a feature over there to deal to uh, be in consideration. It is just uh, the line uh, used for addressing an entity. Okay, we use similar division lines on a map. Okay, to be able to say that, for instance, Belgium is uh, on the map is such a place, we say that vertical division line, horizontal division line at the intersection of the division lines, uh, yes, the Belgium is over there, we say. Uh, similarly, well, division line axis FF and axis 3 3 3 3 axis okay well intersect each other at such a region and over there what we have we have an entity uh, to, t to say something about it okay in architectural drawings on the plan views or similarly elevation views uh, we use axis yes in other example C horizontal axis, sixth axis, and F axis, G axis, sixth axis. Okay, well, uh, the for instance, column. Okay, in the structure of the building, on the plan view, it is at the intersection of uh, G axis and the fifth axis. Just mentioning the like coordinates, okay using the axis can easily uh, mention you mean or you're talking or you're trying to say something about which entity say that the entity at the region okay corresponding to fifth axis and uh, the G axis on elevation views okay not only plan views, but elevation views, uh, the axes are shown, are used. First axis, second axis, third axis, etc. Okay. And uh, division lines, for instance, say that the, uh, the window of the first floor on it is uh, that elevation site. Okay. It is close to the fourth axis can easily uh, address it okay yes I finished my lecture about axis of symmetries or uh, the meaning of long short dashes thin long short dashes and the following record uh, will be on uh, cat application or uh, say using the tools of inventor how we can show the axis of symmetries Using the tools of uh, AutoCAD, how we can show the axis of symmetries. Uh, well, next video record, I am going to answer uh, such questions. Actually, in AutoCAD and Inventor, previously giving some examples uh, quickly, uh, not in detail, not slow, but uh, very quickly, saying that later you're going to see some complementary things on. Uh, symmetry axis, the meaning of long short dashes and well at that time study on uh, symmetry axis indication stage one more time yes next video record uh, will be just at this stage okay about one more time uh, say to answer the question uh, how symmetry axis can be shown can be added on the views in AutoCAD in Inventor. Yes. See you uh, at the time uh, to watch the uh, following video record. Bye bye. Let's have a break and then continue. After the break, the rest will be on CAD application in Inventor in AutoCAD. See the things to do for uh, having the axis of symmetries where on the paper 
on the engineering drawing.